Let's play a damn thing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are in the spooky season, so I'm gonna play a spooky game. Today, I wanna play Escape the Dark Castle. Bam! A game of atmospheric something or other. I did a video for this a long time ago. That doesn't matter. Today, I'm just gonna play through it. This video might be a little bit longer, but I thought it would be fun to try my hand at playing a game and you seeing me play it start to finish, almost like, uh, like you're here with me, except this is a solo game, so you're not gonna be here with me. But you're here with me in spirit. Does that count? Let's get spooky. It has been about a minute since I have played this game, so there will be some refresher. But I know I got this. Look at all this. Look at all this. I haven't even really played this in a long time. So I'm gonna shift through some of the rules. I'm going to get set up and we will see you on the flippity flip. Is that what people say? People say that, right? We have met our first decision in our game about making decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bunch of different supplements and things to do. We have the Cult of the Death Knight. I have the Undead Queen and I have the Plague of the Lord. But I think today for the first game, let's just go old school with a little bit of uh, regular rules and we'll see how this goes. If I make another one of these, maybe we could see what else is in the Dark Castle. All right, so the first thing I have to do is actually make my Dark Castle. I take 15 of these cards, give them the old shuffle and then count out 15 to form my castle deck. So there's 15 cards and the cover. So there is my castle. I then take all of my items and I place that next to my castle. Six dice go up there as well. Now, even though I am playing solo, they still require you to have two characters. The characters we have are Abbott, Miller, Cook, Smith, Taylor, and Tanner. Are those their names? No, that's what they do. And I'm going to put them on in front of me. I only have one player mat, but whatever. I don't care. I didn't play anymore. Probably should have. So let's be the... Let's be the Tanner, for no real reason, and the Miller. They are in here for some seedy dark reason. I'm not quite sure. There's going to be a lot of reading in this and a lot of explanation to kind of what's going on. Let me start by telling you why we have to escape the Dark Castle in the first place. All right, so now we have to set health. All of the characters come with their own special D-Die, and there's also stats. But now we also have to set our health, in which are the case, you know, little health thingies, where everyone gets a health, but there's something really, really cool about this, other than the most badass metal player one marker there is, because I have to pick which character I'm going to use whenever I'm going on the adventure before I flip the card. And you want to know who the first player is? You. Want to hear how heavy this is? Listen. Now, normally the game would require you to use this little notepad and these adorable little black pencils in order to keep track of your health. But no, sir, we're Kickstarters. So we have this health track, and on this health track goes this fucking metal ass skull. Bam! So we're both at 18 health, so we each get a thing. Look at these fucking things. They're also metal as hell, so you wanna see how heavy they are? Watch. Ah. Oh my god, we almost forgot the most important thing. When we are done escaping the Dark Castle, we have to fight a boss. We have three bosses to choose from. It will either be the Dark One, the Terror of the Underworld, or the Demented Priestess. Which one is it? We will never know. But here it goes on the bottom, bam. So we don't know what's down there and that is how we win. We get through all of the castle, alive hopefully, and we're basically just rolling dice to complete objectives. Let's go through it. It's very, very simple. It's just chucking dice based on things. So for example, if I have to make a little vision roll and that kind of thing, let's, I think we're prepared. It's really easy. I'm just gonna go. We're gonna turn over to begin our first chapter. Who is the you? Is the Tanner. Now the Tanner, so the Tanner is gonna be going first. We both have all the healths we need. 
Let's go. Oh, we're in the Dark Castle. We are here against our will or improperly prisoned. What's the word they were looking for? Wrongfully incarcerated. The Tanner and the Miller had a bit of a thing going on. They had a situation where they weren't cheating on significant others because both their significant others were dead. But in this world, you are not divorced just because your significant other is dead. So they saw it as adultery. So they threw them in here. That's what we're going with. So the Tanner and the Miller, that's what we're going with. Let's go ahead and turn over to begin. Let's go. All right, let's see what we have here. After years of incarceration in the depths of the dark castle, you finally break free of your cell. In a small stone room adorning the cell block stands an old wooden chest. The lock is open. Draw an item card per player now. You hear footsteps approaching. You must not linger here. You make for the exit, slipping away and disappearing into the darkness. Turn the first chapter card. So we both get a card. So we're going to give her that one, him that one. Let's see what we got. So Tanner got some healing verses. Don't really know what that. Whenever you roll a double, you may restore an HP to a character. And let's see what Mr. Miller got. He got an infested cheese wheel. That sounds delicious. Discard to restore one health. So we got some healing going, which is going to be beneficial. Let's see what's in the darkness. All right, let's see where we go. You wiped us from the lid of a large tomb, hoping to read its inscription. At your what the fuck? At your touch, the lid slides open, and the giant knight rises, bellowing that you should not have disturbed him. As a group, choose an option. We can flee. As you run, you are hacked by the revenant. You lose three HP. We can fight to begin combat. In the combat special, all players may fight as normal, but you, which is her, are the only player the giant attacks, and you may not rest. What is our decision? Ladies and gentlemen, we have chosen to fight. So we're gonna begin combat. So down here is what I'm trying to roll. So let's put that there. And then we each have to roll a something to give extra symbols. That's what that means. So this is what we're looking at. We're looking at two of those and one of the eyeballs. And remember, all players may fight as normal, but you, which is Miss Tanner, are the only player that the giant attacks. And I may not rest, I as in you. Because resting is one of the things you can do. So we're basically going to be rolling die to fight this thing, and then it's going to hit back. Let me show you what that looks like, and hopefully we win the thing. And Okay, let's go. So a little bit of a breakdown as to why we chose not to run. Because if you look here at the bottom, whenever he fights back, basically, if he has any die here, he hits us automatically. Unless we have rolled a block, which we'll talk about in a second. And he hits for two. So there is a good chance that we can defeat him in one roll. And if he hits us, then he hits us for two. No big deal. So let's go ahead and check out the roll. Everyone has their character die. Let's just see what happens. So we roll two eyes over here. There's one eye. So we tink that one away. It still has two. So we didn't block those. Nothing else happens. So he hits for his value here for two. So he hits us, boom, bam, both for two. Now items can be used at any time, any time, but I think we're okay. All fire, all the other, you are the only player of the giant attacks and you may not rest. Oh, never mind. He doesn't attack Mr. Miller, he only attacks the Tanner, and they can't rest. So at the beginning of the round, they can choose to rest, which is basically just heal a hit point, and they don't partake, but at least one person has to fight. So that's not a big deal. So let's roll another one. Star, 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 bam. He is defeated. Go fuck yourself. And since he is defeated, he yeets over here, and we get to draw an item. And we have to figure out who it goes to, they can only have two items per person. This is a partially rotten apple. Discard to restore a hit point. We're gonna give that to Miss Tanner, and we are gonna use this immediately for Miss Tanner to go ahead and heal her one. And we're on to the next chapter. It's actually important for you to make sure you know who the you is. So let's see, it's still gonna be Miss Tanner. I think she's doing okay. She's doing a good job. So let's see what this one says. As you pass an ornate mirror in this bedchamber, twisted versions of yourself step through it with murderous intent. You become separated and must fight alone. Each player must roll their die twice and place corresponding chapter die in front of them to represent their doppelganger. Place only one die for each double rolled. Begin combat. Special combat! Combat special, no player can rest until their doppelganger is defeated. They may then either rest or help the other player defeat theirs. A player aiding another takes damage as normal and must declare who they are aiding before they roll. And it only hits for one every time. So ain't that about a bitch. 
All right, so Tanner Tanner Chicken Danner is an eyeball and a star. And then Mr. Miller is going to be an eyeball and a fist, a fist. It's might, cunning, and wisdom, by the way. Might is the fist, cunning is the eyeball, and wisdom is the star on their head. So basically, here we go. So we got a roll. Everyone's, they're both fighting their own, and they hit for one. Let's, uh, let's see. So this is the Miller's. Miller threw up a rock fist, got that, and this is important as well. So this means they blocked. So whenever the other person attacks, I'm not gonna take damage. She blocked as well, so she got rid of a star. So far, we're rocking the shit out of this. So let's roll again. Two eyeballs, looking for snake eyes. Nope, nothing, but they did both block, so it dinks off. Oh, fist a minute, no block, so now, now we're taking damage. So now, one for the Miller, two for the Tanner. Actually, there's one for the Tanner. And we just, this is combat. You just keep going and going and going until they die or you die. So the doppelgangers only need one more hit and Stars is not the way to do it. So we take another hit. Let's keep going. All right, eyeball for the Tanner. So Tanner is safe and sound, and the other one blocked. So now they're both gonna help Miller and they're both gonna attack, or should I have Miss Tanner rest? Tanner's looking a little rough for wear. Um, you know what? No, we're gonna go for it. I need an eyeball, show me some wisdom. Snake eyes. So. The Miller is safe, and we live to fight another day. Let's do this thing. Ah, I feel wise. I feel cunning? What's the one the eyeball? All right, so since we did begin combat, we get another thingy. This is the Replication Stones Relic. Whenever you roll a single, it counts as two singles of that trait. Let's give this to the Miller. We have 16 health and 15 health and some healing items. Um, and whenever you roll a double, I may restore to any character. No, that's a relic, that's a food. Oh, wait a minute, that's just period. Whenever you roll a double, I may, re oh, I was rolling doubles. I need to pay attention to the shit we have. We are not going to be retroactively doing anything. We're gonna pay attention the first time. And I thought it was just a one-time healing thing. So whenever you roll a double, which are these, so anytime I roll a shield, I get to heal any character. That's a really good item. Let's go ahead and turn the page. You pass through a chamber which serves as a cesspit below the castle privies. Oh wait, that's not, that's not an action. Below the castle privies. As you pick your way through the filth, something unusual catches your eye. Draw an item card. What did we catch? We, oh, it's just no big deal, just a rotten shield. Whenever you would lose HP, reduce the amount by one down to a minimum of one. Okay, let's go ahead and give that to Miss Tanner since she is gonna be our healer now. All right, moving on. Oh, that's fucking cool, look at that. Oh man. All right, your boat catches a tripwire. Oh my boat, my boot. <laughs> I need to learn how to read. Your boot catches a tripwire, releasing a shower of acid from above. <laughs> All players must try to roll cunning in one attempt for each player. I successfully roll a cunning, I dodge the trap. If I fail, Ugh, ash it splashes and begins to sizzle and smoke burning through an item you're carrying. Discard one item. If you have two, shuffle them face down and discard one at random. If you have none, lose one HP and the acid sears your flesh. So here's what we're gonna do. We can use items at any time. I'm gonna go ahead and use this cheese wheel at any time to heal homeboy over here because I don't want any of this going away. So we are trying to roll cunning. So cunning is the eyeball. All right, so one attempt. We got one attempt to roll some eyeballs. Let's go ahead, Miss Tanner first. Oh, she is safe, thank the sweet baby Jesus. And then Mr. Millar. Oh, suck it, suck it, suck it. That acid trap can suck it, suck it, suck it. We did it, y'all. We did it. All right, that's easy. Moving on. Fuck you. Ah, what the fuck? With a piercing wail. A hideous creature emerges from the darkness ahead. It drools at the side of you. Oh, a sex elephant beast. Look at him. Oh, and a fist here. And a fingers. As a group, choose one option, then begin combat. We are surround. We can surround the beast and attack from all sides, or we can stay together and fight on the move. Why do we want to surround it from all sides? Ugh, it's easier, but we take more damage. 
Or if we do this, it's going to be a little bit harder to beat him, but he hits less. What to do, what to do. Obviously, we are going to surround the beast and attack it from all sides. So even though it hits harder, that's fine, because I have a shield and I can heal, and whenever I roll a single, it counts as two. So this is just period. This is just, I have this. So I think we're okay. So we're gonna throw up the rock fist, and then we each have to roll a die. Ooh, three fisties is what we're doing. So he's a three-fisted beast. That is what we have to beat. Let's go ahead, grab our dice. Fuck this thing up. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, eyeballs and fists. All right, so we dinked one of those away. Blunk. But we also have a shield. Who was this? This was the Tanner. So the Tanner blocks, which it doesn't matter. And then whenever I roll a double, I can restore one HP to any character. I'm gonna restore it to herself. So she's at 16 now. Let me stand up this little skull. He's all knocking over. And whenever I roll a single, it counts as two singles of that trait. Oh, he rolled that, so it's actually two. So he gets to knock that off, but he doesn't get the block. So that's a really good fucking thing. Whenever you roll a single, it counts as two singles of that. Wow, but it doesn't count as a double. So over here is like whenever you would roll double. So, okay, it's still good. All right, and then he hits homebrew over here for one, two, three, ouch. All right, let's throw it up. The Tanner blocked again, but it didn't hurt him. And he rolls double, so he's gonna heal homeboy over here. Double star, and he's gonna hit for three. One, two, three, ouch. Oh man, Um, I think Miller here is gonna rest this round. So we take Miller's die and we put it over here because it's not gonna roll, but he gets to heal once. So he doesn't get attacked or anything. He can't attack or be attacked. So it's just gonna be Tanner and blocks, Patink. And anytime you roll double, she can heal, so she's gonna heal Miller again. All right, Miller, come on back. And she didn't take damage because of the shield. God, period, damn it. All right, so now we're in a bit of a trouble. Bit of a trub. So she would take three, but she has a shield, so she only takes two, and he takes uh, uh, all three of them. God damn it, come on! Jesus fucking Jesus. All right, so Tanner is still blocked. And she's gonna heal homebrew over here. And Miller's just an eyeball and nothing happens. So he takes three damage. One, two, three. This is, this is oh, you know what? He's gonna rest. And come on, Tanner, save. Is there even a fist on here? I feel like I'm rolling like Phil, Jesus. All right, one fist. One, two, because of that. And we're coming back. All right, Miller blocks. Tanner actually gets hit for two. Oh my God, Miller. Miller blocks again. Tanner gets hit for two. Jesus, fuck, fuck, fuck that thing. Oh my God, what did we get for all of our trouble? We got whenever you would lose HP, discard this item and lose none. Obviously, that's going to go to Miller. We are in a bit of a shit show here. Ooh, that was rough. Ooh, I need a break. <sighs> okay, so we are not in a good way, but I feel like a couple of non-shitty cards and a couple of non-shitty rolls, and we'll be right back into it. Let's see. <sighs> Man, okay. That thing fucked us up. But that's okay, because now we get to... In this sweltering chamber, a blacksmith is forging a sword. He is so absorbed in his craft that you spot an opportunity to steal from him. As a group, we have to choose an option. Also, I need to be changing these U's, because... As a group, choose an option. We move on. It's not worth the risk. Turn the next chapter card. Steal. Nominate a player to try to roll a cunning in one attempt. Cunning is the eyeballs. Homeboy has four eyeballs. Nominate a player to try to roll a cunning. Success. I relieve the blacksmith of some of his wares, draw two item cards, or failure, you are caught red-handed and the blacksmith turns his hammers on you. Each player loses two hit points as you retreat. Now, homegirl would only lose one. And I could stop. You know what? We're gonna steal from this blacksmith. He's a blacksmith in a dark castle. He could have come to free us, but he didn't. So now, here's how it works. So Miller, he is gonna roll cunning, so he rolls four dice. And we are looking for any cunnings on these in order to be successful. We were rolling like shit. 
just let's just pray to the non dice gods or the dice gods because we need this. So, dear dice lords, please give us the eyes and the wisdom. Not the wisdom. Give us the fuck. We're already messing this up. Let's just roll. Actually, we messed up. We don't roll four of these. We roll one. And the Miller has eyeballs on four sides of his. So it's a pretty good chance. Or he has four eyeballs, rather. So it's like a 50-50 shot. <sighs> okay. So these dice are only for combat. So let's just ignore those. All right, we're going to do it. Are you ready? Go on this journey with me. Fuck you, blacksmith. Fuck you, blacksmith. Fuck you, blacksmith. And we got two item cards as we piece the fuck out. Let's see what we got. Liquid Luck, discard to reroll your character die, applying only the second result, and then discard to restore one hit point to your character. Now I can only carry two. Right now I don't need this rotten apple so it can go away. However, this Liquid Luck is pretty good for rerolling something, but I have to get rid of something like this, which would basically negate any damage, which would be good. I don't know which one to keep. You know what, we're gonna get rid of this Liquid Luck and Felix Felicitas, but we're gonna take this, because even if there's something on a card that would cause me to lose health, I can use this to negate it, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I would have rolled a die to make that happen, because this game hates people, and it might hate me. So we're good. We're good. Next chapter. Whoop. Ooh, okay. You ascend the narrow spiral staircase, merging into the windswept bell tower. We're all over this castle. As you cross the tower, the bell swings into life, its dreary peal shaking your very bones. Any player who cannot roll wisdom or a double in one attempt loses two HP as the sound begins to drive them insane. So that's it. All right, so here's our dice. So what are we rolling? We're trying to roll wisdom, which is the star. So I think Tanner's going to be okay. Miller, however, might be a little bit of an issue. So here we go. Eyeballs, that is cunning. That is also cunning, but, or doubles, we are good. And since we rolled a double, we get to heal one. So let's go ahead and heal that young lady right there. We fucking rocked that roll. Let's. We gotta fight something. Let's see. You interrupt a beast man devouring a fresh kill. He raises his head, sinew dangling from his gore smeared mouth and then charges. You, which is Tanner again. I keep forgetting that you. You must roll might or a double in one attempt. Success, I react quickly and dive aside, begin combat. Or failure, you are slammed to the floor, you lose two HP and then begin combat. So combat's gonna happen. Come on, Tanner, you have to roll a double or might. Might is on one side of the Tanner. She's not very strong, but we got a lot of doubles on here. So. So we take two H, we take two, 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 two. We take two damage, but because I have my shield, we only take one. That's a bummer. All right, so combat has begun. We need to defeat with a might, which is gonna be difficult, an eyeball, which is all I seem to be rolling, and wisdom and cunning. So let's go ahead and do the damn thing. He hits for two if we don't block. So let's, let's go. All right, Miller, Tanner. How strong is your love? Is it stronger than a beast man? Woo! -hoo. All right, apparently not. So we got eyeballs and other things. Eyeballs and other things, but wait! The Miller did the eyeballs. And the Miller, as you know, whenever you roll a single, it counts as two doubles. So we got rid of three. Right out the gate. Hell yeah. However, he's gonna smack us both for two. So one, two. And oh, she has a shield, so only smacked for one. Now, the, the amount of fist we have between us, he has three rock fists, she has one. So let's, all right, let's go. Double fist, bam! Also, because I rolled a double, I get to heal, so she'll heal herself one. Nothing there, nothing there, we're good. So we killed him and we get an apple for our trouble. This would be nice, but I actually can't use this check something in the rules. In the 
the beside the character. Ah, fuck, never mind. I was wondering if I could use this before discarding it, but I can't. So that's worth, that's better. Just better to do. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna have to get rid of that as well. Move it on up. Holy Jesus Christ, look at that well. At the end of this passage is an old stone well. As you reach in to test the water, it thrashes into a violent torrent. You have disturbed the malevolent spirit. Are there any other types of spirits that lives in wells? Live in wells? No. Begin combat. Combat special. You Ugh. are incapacitated for the first round of combat, during which you do not fight, and you may not rest, but still take damage as normal. Well, fuck you. You recover at the beginning of the second round, so we need to have cunning. We need to have wisdom, and we need to have... Fuck you, fist. All right, so this is gonna be brutal. She gets for two, God damn it. All right, so Tanner, our beloved doesn't roll. But not only does fucking Miller block that shit, he also gets rid of that shit. And he doesn't have anything else that would allow us to do anything. So he doesn't take damage and she actually only takes one. And because she didn't get to roll, she didn't get to heal. But now, we're coming for you, you malevolent spirit! You malevolent son of a bitch! Where are you going? Right, come back up. Oh, there's another fist. Oh, now we're rolling all the fist. Tanner. Tanner rolls one of these dinks, and that's a good dink. All right, and he's gonna hit for two, but for her it's for one. He's actually gonna go ahead and discard this so he doesn't take the damage, because I also want to hopefully get some more items. I feel like that's good. So we need eyeballs and Starries. Eyeballs and Fist, who did this? Tanner? Excellent. So that means that she blocks, we take care of the eyeball, and she heals. This one girl's gonna heal herself because she is having just the worst day. And then homeboy over here takes two hits. Let's go. Eyeballs and eyeballs! All right! So it doesn't help us there, but homegirl gets to heal, and he gets to block. Eh. Look at Tanner. Tanner making shit happen. Tanner, that's the reason why Miller fell in love with you. Bink. Let's see what we got for our trouble. We found a warped cudgel. It's one-handed, because sometimes there's two-handed, you can only hold two things, so this is good. Once per round of combat, when you roll might, you may roll again and choose which of the two results apply. I don't really know what the fuck that means, but okay. So let's go ahead and give this to him. All right, moving on. Oh, I think that means if I roll a fist, I can re-roll fist. So that's pretty good. Because sometimes I don't need the fist. Sometimes I do. Let's see if I'm going to need it next time. I might need it. A skeletal form lies slumped in the corner of his dark chamber. Beneath a dust of ages, it still clutches to a moldering map. As a group, choose an option. Move on. Something isn't right here. Turn the next chapter card. Steal the map. Nominate a player who rolls two wisdom in three attempts. My wisdom is my brains. Ah, Tanner's got some good brains. Success, the map leads to a hidden cache. Draw two items. Or failure, the skeleton twitches, rises from its ancient slumber, punishes you, destroying the map in its rage. Begin combat. Now here's the thing. I am doing really well for items. I do not think that I need these items. I think I'm good to turn the next chapter card. Moving on. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like a fucking tearing it up in this bitch. This chamber is flanked by caves and littered with gnawed bones. A guttural growl rings out as something emerges. It's that thing. That thing emerges. As a group, choose one option to begin combat. Take the beast head on. That's easy. Or use hit and run tactics. All right, so it's going to hit harder if we tackle it head on. Or we can... Hmm. For the same reason we did the other one, I think the doubles are good here, and down here I can re-roll and I have some other things at my disposal. So we're gonna go ahead. Eyeballs and wisdoms. Bitch, please. I got eyeballs and wisdoms for days. Fist, I got eyeballs. Is this the Miller? It is the Miller. So I'm gonna use my cudgel to re-roll my might. Oh, I rolled two of them. But at least he doesn't take a hit. So this will be gone, but thunk. And he takes two. One, two. Ugh. I'm sorry, Tanner. I'm sorry. Boop, boop. Blocked again. The Miller blocked. 
But the tanner got rid of that. So our weird little spider friend is gone. And for our troubles, we got Effervescent Evasion. Whenever you would lose a hit point, discard this to lose none. I don't think we need this. So we are going to be moving on. Whoop. Ah! Look at that fucking guy. Look at him. Oh, sir. Hygiene. Sir. Hygiene. As you pass a heavy wooden door, it flies open and a ragged madman bursts through. He wields his shackles as a weapon and his crazed stare sends a clear message. You stand between him and freedom. I'm sorry, sir. You're gonna die. You must try to roll might or a double in one attempt. If I successfully do it, I manage to deflect the wielding and begin combat. Failure, smash aside, you lose two HPs and begin combat. You is still my tanner. Oh man, all right. So let's go ahead. What am I trying to roll? Might or a double? So come on, tanner. Might or a double? That is neither one of those things. So I take a damage because of my shield. That shield is saving my life. All right, so he has a rock fist, an eyeball, and an eyeball and a wisdom. So let's, let's fuck this guy up. All right. Okay, so Tanner rolled a star. So that's good, I can get rid of that. He rolled a fist, so that's good, we can get rid of that. Or actually, hmm, I'm gonna reroll this fist. Okay, cool. Get rid of that. <laughs> and then he hits us both for two. She takes one. He takes two. This is looking good for us. Once per round of combat, so I'll reroll this. Oh, thank God. Got rid of both of those, and we live to fight another day. With a cracked axe, two-handed Jesus, in combat, rolling a chapter die with your character die each time you attack. Oh, should I get to an extra die also? You know what? We're going to get rid of these two things. Miller is pissed. Miller's going to start fighting dirty, dirty. So let's put one of these die on here so we know that we can roll that and move it on. This isn't even the boss, but look at this goddamn thing. Something out of one punch. Jesus Christ. This passageway suddenly fills with harsh whispered curses. Flames leap from the wall, mounted torches to take on the form of the demon warrior. Tongues of arcane fire surging from its charred balls. No, wait. Skull. As a group, choose an option. Flee! You escape, but all lose 2 HP, dashing through the fire. Begin combat. Whoever deals the final blow loses an HP. The demon vanishes in a burst of flame, which cannot be blocked. Well, fuck you. We're going to flee, right? Lose all, all, but all lose two HP dashing the fire. All right, so. Doink, doink. She only loses one because I don't know how it works, but it works. That was, that's a shitty, oh, God damn it. We're getting so close. Oh, my God, we're so close to the bottom. Here we go. There's a deafening roar and the passageway begins to shake. A section of the old wall beside you collapses and you are buried underneath chunks of heavy stone. You are incapacitated. To remove the rubble crushing you, the other players must roll in unison, keeping track of any might rolled until they have rolled a total number of might equal to the number of players. After each attempt, you lose an HP until the total is reached. If you have not been rescued after three attempts, you manage to crawl from the rubble along your way. This... It's gonna be bad for everybody. <sighs> okay. So I have to roll a fist twice. There is a very good chance that we are gonna lose Tanner right now. And I'm sorry to say that. Tanner has been a sport. <sighs> it's been wonderful. I wish her all the best, but she's probably about to get crushed by these rocks. Let's find out. <sighs> That's not good. Blunt. That's one. And then even no matter what we roll, Tanner is dead. And I hate to be the one to say it, but just like that, the game is over. It's not player elimination. You play until someone dies. But now that someone has died, we go to the death book. So because we got killed by the rock slide, there's a little number right over here that we turn to in our death book. And it will tell us how our adventure ended.
Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we wrap up the ever-loving journey between Miller and Tanner, who died being crushed under the rocks. Miller could not save her. Let's find out what happened. You open your eyes and blink away a thick layer of dust. Darkness surrounds you. You cannot move. You hear distant, muffled shouts, the faint crunch of shifting stone. You try to draw breath, but there is too much weight pressing down on you. You try to move, but find no feeling in your limbs. You close your eyes, and darkness takes you. Without you, the rest of your party is soon overcome by forces of darkness and hauled back to the deepest, darkest of cells, where their screams ring out in vain for the rest of their days. Your adventure ends here. So we didn't make it. Miller, let's see what we would have had. We had to fight some things, and we had the Dark One, which we would not have survived. We probably could have taken them down, but we wouldn't have survived the last one. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is Escape the Dark Castle. That is our spoopy time. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Something a little different, something a little fun. I really do enjoy playing this game. It's a really fun solo game. It's just like choose your own adventure stuff. And I have a ton of cards and other things to play, including all sorts of expansions. Let me know down in the dim comments if you want to see me play again, and if you want to see me take on any of these adventures. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, wear a goddamn mask, wash your goddamn hands, otherwise you's gonna have to answer to a plague lord. Here. Peace out.